Hello everyone. Last month I uploaded this video where we talked about why Canadians have started to hate Indians. To my surprise, this video has got over 4,000 comments, which gave me an insight of what's really happening out there. And to be fair, I must say that I was wrong. Saying that Canadians hate Indians might be somewhat exaggerated, but the emotion is certainly not positive at all. Through analyzing those thousands of comments, I tried to get into the root of the issue, if not hatred, why suddenly there's a shift of these emotions from Canadians towards Indians, what are the problems that Canadians are facing due to the Indians and from the Indians as well, what is that they don't like about Indians, what is they don't like about the complete situation and who they believe is the real culprit. We will talk in depth about this in this video. Please let me know in the comments if you agree with it or not. Okay, so first of all, how I realized that saying that Canadians hate Indians is a little exaggeration. Of course, that was the message in a lot of comments. And then I also realized that hatred is a strong emotion. In fact, it might be the strongest of negative emotions. When we say that we hate someone, anyone, then as humans, we feel bad about them in a bad way. If you really hate someone, then you might want to maintain some distance with them. You might want to get in an argument or a fight with them. You might want to hurt them, which is most probably not the case in this particular situation. While the emotion might not be as strong as hatred, but there are a lot of reasons for some anger and a lot of disappointment as well. So let's talk about the top reasons why Canadians have now started to feel that they at least dislike Indians. Probably the biggest reason is the sheer volume of Indian migrants coming over to Canada in the last few years. And I must say that it is absolutely correct as well. The statistics show that there have been millions of Indian immigrants that have came over to Canada only in the last couple of years and that is what we experience all around us as well. Wherever you go, you'll definitely notice that there are a lot of Indians compared to five or maybe seven years ago. If you look in the past, Canada has been a migrant friendly country but they do expect some diversity and anybody could get upset when they see that People only from a particular region of the world are coming over and that too in such big numbers. The blame for this goes to Trudeau government and the thousands of comments actually do recognize that as well. Because of the pandemic, there was an economic slowdown and not many people were willing to go out and work. So not just Canada, many countries in Europe, uh, UK, even Australia saw this as an opportunity to bring in migrant workers, international students from across the world, mostly India, and tried to provide a solution to the problem which proved to be just a band-aid. And of course the Canadian voters realize it and they're blaming Justin Trudeau's liberal government for this problem. The second reason, many Indians don't assimilate with the Canadian culture. Hundreds of comments actually point out to this problem and there's one comment which is summarized it very accurately. It's not hate, it's not racism. It's a normal reaction to a massive influx of a culture that doesn't assimilate and blend to a country's culture and way of living, including rules. And I totally agree with this comment. If there are a lot of people from their particular community coming in, but they seamlessly blend to your culture, maybe you won't feel that bad. But unfortunately, that's not happening. Many international students don't have the confidence to speak proper English. And something as basic as that, if you can't communicate properly, how can you blend into a particular culture? How can you assimilate with the Canadian culture? I don't know why, but they don't follow basic rules, manners or etiquettes. If you can't assimilate into the Canadian culture, at least try not to be loud enough so that the Canadians start feeling that you are imposing your culture on them which is totally the other way around how it should be. I think we all can do a better job than this. Okay, the next point is horrible customer service. I talked in length about this point in the last video and it seems like almost everyone agrees with me. If you have any customer facing job, whether at Tim Hortons or any other food outlets, at Walmart or any other grocery stores, 
or anywhere else. You need to be much more polite, at least smile a bit, say hi, hello, good evening, good morning, and thank you, have a good day. These are some basic manners that, that you should also have in your daily life, not just in the customer service, but it's a mandatory when it comes to customer service. Now, why I'm recounting this point? Because almost everyone goes to a coffee shop or at least a grocery store. And for many Canadians, that may be the only time when they actually interact with Indian immigrants. Because of course, as you know, all these basic survival jobs, and I call them survival jobs, you mostly see Indians working there. So if Canadians are getting a bad experience, that is the impression that they're going to have about Indians. So something as basic as saying hi, smiling, how are you, how was your day? Good afternoon, good morning, thank you, sorry, have a good day. Small, small things like this can improve your impression over a Canadian. Please do better than what you're doing right now. Of course, the next point is very crucial, breaking the laws. Now, I came to Canada in 2017 and back then it was very rare to find Indians involved in mischievous activities, let alone serious crimes. But now it is so common. People are just coming over maybe on a tourist visa and just trying to stay here for longer would get involved into unlawful activities and this is becoming a serious problem. You won't ever find the Canadian police to be as strict as police was in India and people take advantage of that. That's not a Canada anybody would have thought of. Almost everybody is so fed up with those spam calls that we get on a daily basis. Those duck cleaning calls, everybody knows that the Robert or the John is actually a fake name. It's actually some Balvinder or Jaswinder sitting behind the phone. And when it's an open secret that there are Indians behind those spam calls, this only worsens the current situation and adds up to the anger. Okay, now the next problem, taking away jobs. I talked about the jobs at grocery stores, uh, maybe the food outlets. Many of these jobs are being taken by school passouts, school students during their summer break. But 2023 and 24 summers have been strange in its own way. Canadian students have found it so difficult to even get those basic jobs. The reason, of course, the huge number of Indian immigrants in Canada, especially the international students. Now, I believe that these big box organizations, these food chains, they don't really care about their customer experience anymore. What they care about is business, more and more profit. They know it very well that international student is in desperate need of a job and they try to exploit the situation. The students also work in difficult conditions without complaining because they know that it's difficult to get even that one basic job as well. So that's about those jobs. But of course, all those international students who are getting good jobs as well, the number is so huge that it is getting difficult for the local Canadians to get a job, they now have to compete with those immigrants. Of course, they're not going to like that. I believe for this situation, the blame goes to the government. They're now taking some steps, but it may be too late. Okay, the last point, and I don't believe that I'm talking about it, it's bad smell. To be frank, I never noticed it until there were so many comments about it. And guys, there's such a simple solution to this problem. Just get a good deodorant five or ten dollars and could last a month or two. Your hard-working people don't ruin your reputation just because of such simple and silly stuff. Okay guys, so that's it from me. Please let me know your views, your comments. Do you agree with me or not? If you feel those points are correct or you have to add something else, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. Please share it with your friends so that it could be beneficial for the community. And thanks a lot for watching this video. See you in the next one.